this is the last time we're practicing the lines. Especially recording it. Mm -hmm. Not Mary. No. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is Elena. And here we, we are here in beautiful stretch yard. We're going to give you a short box. Pilates reformer exercise, definitely not traditional because of our setup. We have the box turned short, but it's on the frame of the reformer, and, the, and I'm set to a blue spring or a light spring, depending on what you have. Uh, find a good spring that's for you. It gets a little tough uh, just because of our setup. We're pushing the carriage out. So again, the carriage is against it. The whole box is on the frame of the reformer. Make sure it's safe. And before you do a lot of these exercises, you really need this to be supported. Okay, we're going to start off by uh, bringing the carriage all the way in. I'm going to turn to one side, whatever side you like. Now, this is where your box needs to be nice and stable. We're going to lay our back onto the box, and then our legs will be in tabletop, and our head will just drape off the back of the box. Interlace the hands back behind the head, drop the head. Thumb straight down the side of the neck. Inhale, lift the head, exhale, crunch it up, and lower it back down. So find our little abdominal preps or crunches. Let's just do one more of these and keep it up. Legs and tabletop, single toe taps. We're on one leg down, it stays at a 90. Exhale, lift this leg up. And the opposite, you lower. Exhale, you lift. So as we move here, keep the knee at a 90 degree angle, elbows in the peripheral vision, and you are rolled up pretty high, about mid back. Exhale, you lift. We got a couple more passes. We got one more on each side. Inhale, lower. Exhale as you lift. Last one. We're going to do double toe taps. Keep the legs hip width apart. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Now keep that neutral spine. So lots of meanings towards that. I want the top of the rib cage to face towards the bottom of that rib cage. Or excuse me, the top of the pelvis to face towards the bottom of that rib cage. Exhale as we lift. We got one more for double toe taps. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as we lift. Keep it in. Let's find crisscross. Extend one leg and then have the opposite knee and elbow connect. Inhale as we go to the middle. Crunch up higher. Bring both knees in. Exhale. Go to the other side. Nice and smooth and steady. Exhale as we go over. Inhale as we go to the middle. Crunch up higher. Exhale to lift. Good smooth. Feel that track of the leg. Hip socket. Knee. Second toe. One more on each side. Last pass, we're gonna hold it on this side. With the long leg, let's kick it up, exhale, flex the foot. Point that long leg down, point the foot. Flex the foot as you kick up, exhale. Inhale, point the foot, crunch up a little high if you can. Flex the foot, exhale. Point the long foot as you lower down. Let's switch it to the other side. And then we flex up, lift the leg, point the foot as you lower down, inhale. Exhale, flex up, staying high in that crunch, looking at that back elbow, one more. Point that foot as you lower down. Let's bring both legs in. Long legs extend to the ceiling, we're still on our crunch. Lower the legs down, point the feet. Flex the feet as you lift, exhale. Point as you lower, so elbows are in peripheral vision. Flex as you lift, find that deep breath. As you inhale, force, all the air into your lungs, and then exhale, get all of the air out. One more pass. You should be able to hear yourself exhale, exhale and out of our mouth. Let's keep it. Grab onto one calf, lower the other leg down. You're gonna pull, pull, and switch to the other side. Think bicep curl, bicep curl, and switch. Exhale, exhale, switch. Really feel those biceps work, and feel the way you're lifting this leg out of the hip socket, so up and over the head. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Feel that hip socket, the front of that knee, and that second toe be in that same alignment in every aspect of this exercise. One more on each side. We're gonna bring it in all the way. Bend the knees, drop that head down. Let's come up into a crunch one more time. Extend those legs, reach those arms. We're gonna do our hundred. Let's inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two. Three, four, five. So big inhales in, five of them, and then big exhales out, five different exhales. And as we do this, try to 
to keep that nice stable spine. Pump those arms nice and vigorously. We're going to do one more of this breath pattern. Now five full breaths in, or five count as you breathe in. And then a full five count out as you exhale. Lower those legs a tad, point through those ankles, inhaling. All the air out, exhale, force it out. Look at those low legs. Inhale, lower those legs a little bit more. Exhale, get everything out. We got two more passes, vigorous arms, inhale. Exhale, get everything out. One last pass on this, inhale. And then exhale, let's bend the knees and drop the head. Mm, nice enough, come on up, crunch it up. Grab on the back of the legs, roll yourself up. Now from here, we're gonna turn and face the straps. And you're gonna have your heels hooked on the edge of the carriage. So, once you're here, feet are flexed. You're on the edge of the box. Your palms are pressed against the box. We bend the knees in. We exhale, straighten out. So you have a long torso. Let's interlace our hands back behind our head. Exhale as we press it out. Inhale as we come in. We're just doing some quick feet work here. Throw the balls of the feet. High heels, inhale, bend. Feel those knees track, exhale, press away. So find ever how much range of motion you can do with your reformer in your body. And then try to find the elegance, the flow throughout the whole body as this moves. It's equally distributed. It's nice and calm in the alignment pattern. One more pass, heels together. I line about one more pass, exhale as you press away. Now here, really keep those knees right over those toes. Knees aren't as, as open as we feel like they need to be. We've got one more pass and spin the knees. I mean it this time. Exhale, straighten the legs. Let's hook the heels. The feet are externally rotated, so those toes and knees are pointed to the side. We bend the knees and let's reach our arms forward. Palms towards each other. Exhale, straighten out. So find that track. As if we had a motion detector in our pelvis, we have no motion in that pelvis. We try to find this entire movement for the same pelvis and that spring underneath you is nice and calm and stable as well. Let's go to the balls of the feet on the next pass when the legs are nice and straight. Find the balls of the feet, still externally rotated, high heels. Find the bend when you're there. Exhale as you press away. Now let's think about that alignment again in that body, the middle body. So the top of the ribcage structure is pointed to the top of or excuse me, the bottom of that ribcage structure. Structure. Feel them mirror one another. Feel the ankle links between that low back and that front tummy. Now hold this here. Stand on the balls of the feet. Your hands are going to go by your side. Let's go to the arches. So from here, drop your eyes on your thighs. We're going to start rounding in your spine. Exhale, press into the box. Lift the butt up for the tendon stretch prep. And then lower that butt down. Inhale, hover over the box. Exhale as you come up. Press in those hands. Inhale as you lower down. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you lower back down. One more. Exhale, come up. Inhale as come down. Cover yourself down and just hover. We hover three, eyes on the side. We hover two. We hover one. Drop the butt in. Now from here, hip width apart with the legs or on the heels. Press into the palms. Lift the left leg straight up in space. Bend the right knee. Exhale as you press away. So find the hip socket. Find that knee. Find that second toe in alignment. The shoulders and the hips. Four points of the core is like I, I like to call them. I want you to find those four points nice and steady. Feel the evenness between the side differences from the left and right side by that. Feel the evenness from the front and the back. And even from the top and the bottom. Press it out, let's keep it out. Let's stay on this foot, switch it to the ball of the foot. Let's bend the other knee in, grab behind that thigh. Extend this leg up. We bend in. We exhale, straighten it out. Find that vertical spine. Inhale, bend it in. Let this leg help you find that vertical spine. Exhale. Now notice what the ribs are doing. Face them right to the pelvis. Pelvis right to the ribs. Good, find that line in space, in gravity. One last pass, exhale, let's press it out. Now from here, since we're used to it, let's go ahead and get into the same position on the other side. Grab on behind that thigh, and let's find it. Inhale, bend in. 
exhale as we press it away. It's much range of motion that we can do in this position with our body. Hip socket, knee, second toe. And you're really using that leg to help support yourself to lift up even more, trying to find integrity in how you hold yourself. We got one more pass. Exhale, we bring it in. Let's keep it in. Let's use this leg to help us go to the heel of the same leg. Hands are pressed. We just extend this leg. We bend it in. We exhale, press it away. Smooth and steady. Notice where in your body you need a little bit more attention. Feel that line in the side of the body, the ears right over the shoulders. Those shoulders right over those ribs. Those ribs right over those hips. And those stable hips as this leg is bending and straightening. Hold it. Now from here, let's come in all the way. And I like this position since we're already here. Feet are going to be on the sides of the reformer, so not on the moving carriage. We're going to reach forward and grab our straps. So don't get too confused of what's going on with what we have as far as our grips that we have. Um, we have uh, just these top straps is all over the world. Um, so, just a little bit but it's not the last. Okay, so once we're here, we're on the long straps. Scoot forward as forward as we can be. We're going to bring those ankles right underneath those knees. Our arms are going to be long, palms are towards each other. Round the spine like a ball. Find seat spine first. Inhale, sit to the tall. Let's talk about seat spine. Exhale, round the spine. So shoulders stay over the hips. The spine rounds back in space. Inhale as you stack everything up vertical. Good. Shoulders stay over the hips. Just curl that spine back. Like somebody's punching you in your gut. You're like, uh-uh. Inhale, sit tall. Perfect. Now really find that C-spine over here and keep this. Really find the difference between these motions. Roll back. So let yourself roll back in space. Know your reformer. Be careful on the first pass. Low back is barely touching. Exhale as we come up. Good. Inhale, round back. All over low back. You feel like you can handle. Exhale as we come up. One leg will find tabletop. Inhale as you go back. Exhale as you come up. One last pass like this. Try to stay even in the body. Switch the legs in space. We go back. Exhale, come up. Good. Try to stay center in the, the pelvis with that spine. Exhale. Good. Both legs in tabletop. Be patient on this. Be careful with wherever you're at. Exhale. Know your crowd. Know your body. This does not have to be big, so it doesn't have to get into the danger zone, especially if you're teaching a group class. Hold it up, let's keep it up. Extend one leg out, and let's switch in space. So exhale in the middle of that switch. Feel the stability. I like to keep legs hip width apart a little bit more fashion focused. Palms up here. Two, more. Yes. Two. Last pass. Both legs out. Good. Lift up to teaser. Let this spring help you. We hold five. Smile with the heart. Four. Find some deep, calm breaths. Three. Whenever you can have the supported teaser from this way, try to find it. We all know teaser can be a little challenging. Isn't that right, Joey? Eyes on this side. Good. One last pass. Inhale. And then exhale. Bend the knees in. One foot goes to the side of the reformer. The other foot goes to the side of the reformer. Come up. Now from here, let's bend the elbow in towards the heart. And then hold it. So the hands into your heart. Exhale. Bend the elbows out to the sides. Hands find the heart. So we're finding a vertical spine here. Try to sit up nice and tall. So... We're working out with connectors. If you haven't worked out with connectors yet, do it. And stop holding the football while it's doing that. You can feel the left and right difference. So if my one arm is pulling a little bit more than the other one, I would feel that throughout the whole body. It gives you that communication back, which is really great. And if I'm on another reformer, I'm always searching for that now. 
Let's pull it in towards our heart and let's keep it. Now, from here with a long spine, we lean back, keep the eyes on that boy, the wall in front of you. And then with a long spine, let's come up, exhale. So we're trying to keep our spine long. And then whenever we go back, it's an inhale. That those eyes look down, or excuse me, the chin tucks a little bit more. Exhale as you come up. Lost my train of thought there, sorry. Long spine, I'll say that again. So when you lean back, it's an inhale. Your chin tucks to your chest more. So your neck breaks that line. So we don't have to hold that heavy head up when we're doing these exercises. Exhale as we come up, whoo, heavy hitter, especially having to hold these arms. We're gonna keep this and keep working these arms. Little bicep curls, pulsing this. So trying to find the work with already having to hold the carriage here, especially with this blue spring. As you can tell, it is enough. And I would even say with a, a yellow spring, that would be nice. But I really want to take, uh, I want some support on this carriage because I want to keep you on the spring the whole time. Um, so that's my focus anyway. One more time. Palms into the heart. Let's keep this little faster pulses. Pulse and pulse. Now with this, don't have your breath met for this, especially when you're doing back pulses. Have that breath have comfortable breathing. So just big inhales in and big exhales out. Make sure your shoulders are down, ears are right over your shoulders, and then straighten those arms out all the way. Let's do what we started in the elbows all the way, full range of motion. You want to work a little harder, you can go to the short strap. I'm sure you're already feeling this now, I love it. Exhale as you pull it in. Inhale, release. We got one more test. Exhale, pull it in, and then release. Good, from here, let's bring the straps back down. Let them however you feel like you need to go. We're going to stay on this spring setting, as you already know. We're going to turn around, and we're going to actually, let's not turn around yet. This is a great position. Let's carefully have our hands on the shoulder shoulders. We're going to stand up on top of our carriage. So have the feet in the middle of the carriage, and once you have that, bring one foot on top of that box. You have the ball of the foot on, those toes are flexed. Now press the carriage out all the way and find your split position. Toes and knees are flowing with both legs. You're going to pipe the butt up, exhale, eyes on the thighs, inhale as we go back down. So, our preparatory for our split, our back split, because we're facing the back, but working with what we have going on in the performer. So, trying to always stick to those classical moves, just how we can change it up, because it really can help you get to a different part of the body uh, than we normally do in the regular part of this exercise. Let's pass. Let's hold it out and let's keep it out. The front leg, the one on the carriage, we bend the knee, and then we straighten it out. Good. Again, prep joy for that front back split. Exhale, we press it out. Good. Or that rush is going. Exhale, find that belly, pull up into that spine. We got one more to straighten this leg out. Now, bend this knee into 90, right underneath that ankle. Bend the back knee, and then straighten the back. Bend it, and straighten it. Smooth and steady for whatever you've got going on. When you're working on a light spring like this and you want to work harder, slow yourself down. Think, take your weight off your hands a little. Feel the length in the back. Your neck is usually in the same line as your spine. I would say the only time it opposes that move, and I think we were doing it earlier when I was explaining, keeping the chin tuck to the chest. We're going to hold it down and keep it out. From here, bring the other foot on the box into the knee plank position. We're going to play with this front support. Press the carriage forward in space. Pull the carriage back underneath you. It is an exhale as you press it away. Inhale, come underneath you. Couple more of these. Exhale. Inhale, come in. We got one more. Exhale as you press it away. And then come in. Bring that foot onto the carriage. Sit the middle of the carriage. Opposite foot. Straight down that leg that's on the carriage. You got it. <laughs> We're going to pike it up, flip it straight, and then split it out. So here, when you're doing this, really think your toes and knees are forward with both legs. Where sometimes we like to turn our legs in or out, depending on just your own habit. Try not to let yourself practice that way. Try to find that level of integrity of how you need to hold yourself. Last pass. 
We're going to hold it and keep it. Bend the knees on the carriage, inhale. Exhale for the flexibility aspect, straighten the leg. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, press it away. So make sure those shoulders aren't creeping up to those ears. Feel that nice stretch that you get. We've got two more passes. Feel that alignment. Try to find that calm nervous system as you move. One more pass. We're going to straighten it out. And then bend it back in. Think ankle right underneath this knee. All about the back leg now. It bends in. Exhale, we press it away. Now, let's try not to have a lot of body weight on the shoulder stoppers. Try to think our bellies are off that thigh. And let's tap into that nice calm nervous system and deep, full breaths. Pilates, we inhale through our nose. And we exhale out of our mouth. Two more passes. We got this one more time. We're going to hold it out to this plank and we're going to keep it. Both feet are going to go onto that box spinal plank. The back knees, they bend and inhale. Exhale, we press it away. However much range of motion you can do, if you're a reformer, you're a box, your body. Exhale, press it away. Couple more passes. Filling up the whole core with air. One more. So if our core is a balloon, fill it up big. Exhale. Oh, one more. Inhale. Exhale. Pike it up. Plank it out. Keep it. I bet you know. We're going to pike it up. Plank it up. Woo! Pike it up. Plank it out. Inhale. Pike it up. Plank it out. We go. Take a couple passes for your body to learn how to do the most. 
motion. So being patient with yourself on finding it. Let's press it out. Let's do double time here. We'll do two more passes. One last pass. Now, arms are hella hush. Shoulder height. Open up around a tree. I'll get my words together. Exhale, close those arms around a tree. Inhale, open. Exhale. Smooth and steady. Bounce on those sit bones. Really feel those eyes forward, hovering right in front of you, straight out. Another country salute. Hands at the forehead. You got it. Straighten out. Bend it in. Be patient with your body. How do you find it? Feel that full breath to help you find that level of control. The more you can get that breath out, the more that core, the hello, and you can find that stability from the center of breath. We got two more passes. Last one. How fun, right? Mm. All right, straps down. Long straps back on wherever you can make them on your corner. And then we're going to stand on top of the reformer carefully with our hands on the box. Like I said earlier, make sure you have a stable box for your reformers. You don't have different apparatuses out there. So standing on hands in about the middle of the box, shoulder width. Uh, let's start off some of our standing series. Lean the body back. Lift all ten toes. Round your upper spine like a ball. Keep it. We go back with the carriage six inches. Exhale as we pull it and try not to touch the box. Inhale, go back six inches. Exhale as you pull it and try not to touch the box. Now keep it going. Lift these knees in space. Feel those knees right over those second toes. And then try not to find the box when you pull it in. Keep it. Find the box. Let's lift our heels up. Once your heels are lifted, find your position around through the spine. You inhale, go back. Lift those knees. Exhale, pull the carriage in. Hover from the box. Inhale as you go back. Exhale, pull it in. Couple more. Last pass. Find our plank. Pike it up. Lean it back. Find that full position. Inhale, plank it out. Shoulders right over those hands. And then pike it up. You lean back. Try to keep that carriage away from that box. One more. Exhale. Pike it up. From here, let's find the plank. Keep the plank. Push the carriage away with the arms. Pull the carriage forward with the arms. Exhale. All the way forward. Forward, 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 forward. Try to find the box. Inhale. Push it back. Exhale. Push it all the way forward. Make sure you're stable. Inhale, press it back. Exhale, pull it forward. We got one more pass in us. We pull it forward. Try to find as forward as you possibly can. Once you're there, pike the butt up. Lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back. Or up stretch three. Find the plank position. Pull the carriage forward with arms. It's an exhale as you pike the butt up. Butt up, butt up, butt up, butt up, butt up, butt up, butt up. Inhale as you push the carriage back. Find those shoulders pull all the way forward. This is starting to be our exhale here. Finish it out with an exhale and pipe it up. One more like this. Find the plank. Pull yourself forward. Exhale, 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 exhale. Find it all the way in. We're going to reverse this. Find the shoulders go past those hands. Find that plank. Push it out. Push the carriage away with those arms. We pike it up, exhaling. Still exhaling, putting those shoulders over those hands. Inhale, open the carriage. Exhale, pike it up. Hold it over those hands, find that plank. One more, you got it. Push it back. And then pike it up. Perfect. Find your tick tocks. Round through that back. One leg goes up to the side. Bring it down. Other leg. So teach yourself how to do this with trying not to move the carriage and trying not to move your upper body. Try not to shift in those arms. 
Try to find that stability in the whole center of that body. Exhaling out of the mouth when we lift that leg up. Let's do one more. Keep it out to the side when we lift it. Swing the leg back in space. Really lift this leg up as high as we can. Square the shoulders and hips down to the ground. Go back of the carriage six inches. Pull the carriage and lift this leg up as high as you possibly can. Go back six inches. Exhale, lift up high, 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 high. Again, inhale back. Lift it, up, lift it up as high as you can. Little leg circles here. Eight, seven. Try to get that knee down to the ground. Square those hips off to the ground. If you have a long neck, that's great. Reverse it. Circle, circle. Calm body, calm breath. Try not to let this get you. One more. Swing this leg out to the side and then bring this leg down onto the carriage. Other leg swings out to the side. Swing it back in space. Square the hips down. You go back six inches. As you pull it in, lift this leg even higher. Keep this going. Back leg is scored down to the ground. The leg you're looking at is pointed towards you. Eyes on those thighs, lifting that leg high. One more. Pull it in, lift that leg up as high as you can. We circle. Honor that integrity with the alignment of the legs. Alignment of those hips. Exhale when you lift that circle. Notice what you need to work on today. Trying to keep that calm mindset and know you need to work it. <laughs> Reverse it. Exhale when you lift. Couple more. Last pass. Bring this leg out to the side and then back down. Let's find our plank. We'll find our bears or knee stretches that we have been on the spine. Exhale, press it away. Bring it in. Press it away. Bend it in. Press it away. One more. Bend it in. Press it away and keep it. Walk the feet up the carriage. We'll take a little walk about as much as you can. And you feel comfortable with your carriage. We'll walk it back. Let's set a tone to it. Let's do four walks with the edge, whatever that edge is for you with your carriage and your reformer. So then four counts back to make sure we're not cheating ourselves out on accident. So I'm going to keep the shoulders over those hands. Try to stay in your plank position. Try to keep that butt nice and down. Good. Plank position. Good butts down. Okay. Good. Couple more passes. Good. You want to find a plank feet in the middle of the carriage. Good. Now stay. I want the left hand to go in the middle of the box and then turn onto a side plank. Good. Top leg is forward and reach the top arm up to the ceiling. Let's do the other side. Bring that hand down, send it to the middle of the body. Rotate over. Good, keep this going. Keep this rotation pattern, but try to keep it a plank. So you find the plank the whole time, and then you just twist, trying to find this element of control in your own body, not thinking you're gonna bust it in this position. Good, couple more, find that breath, you can exhale when you open out to that plank. Side plank, we're gonna start. One more. And we're going to hold it on the side. Good. Thread the needle. We're going to pike it up. This arm goes down and through the body. And then find that side plank again. This is an inhale. Exhale. Thread the needle. Pike it up. Inhale to find that side plank. Exhale. Pike it up. Inhale. Side plank. Exhale. Pike it up. One more side. And pike it up. Side plank, keep it. Shall we bend the knees in? Oh yeah, exhale, press it away. That grunt said, absolutely. Inhale, bend. Exhale out of the mouth. Couple more, inhale. Press it away with that arm. Last pass. We're gonna keep that side plank, find it on the other side, that hand goes down to the box. We find the other direction. 
We reach up to the ceiling, thread the needle, hike the butt up, we turn our arms through the bottom of the body. And then we come back out to this side. Okay. Hike it up, butt up, look underneath that arm. The back of that hand where it's reaching. Inhale, come up to that side leg. Exhale, hike it up. Inhale, side plank. One more, hike it up. Side plank. We keep in. Bend it in, shoulders are squared forward, hips are squared forward. Couple more, press away with that hand from the box. Reaching up to the ceiling now, another arm. We got one more. We press it down and keep it out. Find our plank, both hands down, shoulder width apart. Good, let's work on our starting weights. Walk the feet out to the right, two passes, and then walk over to the left. Oh, count it out. Step one, and then make the foot. Step two, make the foot. Step three, make the foot. Other side. Step and knee, and step and knee, and step and knee. Keep it. Good. Step and knee, and step and knee. Keep it. Try to keep that butt down. You can have your foot feet anywhere on the carriage, where it works with you, especially if you are a long body person. Or short body. Good. Couple more. Stretch out through our legs. We're going to sit on our butt. That's a big stretch for lots of people. We're going to grab onto our traps. Grab onto the tops of the ropes and toss them. The tops of the ropes and toss them. We bend the elbows back to the rope. Release. Bend to the rope. Release. Butt up as we bend. Butt down. Butt up. Let's go down half of the leg. Exhale, so half and half. Let's place the knees half of the elbows. Exhale. Really try to find that extension in the hip and feel that evenness. Try not to find that balance behind you. Try to find that point where you can hover. One more. Away from it. Good. We're gonna come up and take it up. Bring these arms straight down. From here, pull them back in space. And release the chest expansion here. Exhale, palms are turned towards your body. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale, release. One more. Pull it back. Let's keep it back. Turn our head to the left. Turn our head to the right. Move our body. Turn our head to the middle. Release the arms. Just to the hips. Pull our arms back even more, do the opposite. Turn our head to the right. Turn our head to the middle. Turn our left. Turn our head to the middle. And release. Do a couple passes, just pulling back and releasing. Ears right over those shoulders. Shoulders right over those ribs. Ribs right over those hips. Last pass. Good. Hinge forward, butt hovers over those feet. Bend the elbows, palms are turned towards those stretch arms. Bend the elbows, however much that carriage can hover from the box, and then straighten them. Bend and straighten them. Good. Let's turn our palms down to the ground here. Palms up whenever you straighten them. Exhale. One last pass. Hold it. Long arms, pulse up to the ceiling. Control the carriage underneath you. The neck is in the same line as that spine. Calm and steady. Two. Last one. T arm. Find T arm. You got it. Pull those arms back to your side. Good. T arm. Find a little back extension when you pull the side eyes up. 
Go ahead, T your arm, drop the head down, upper back down. Head up and lift it and upper back. Good. Try and keep the butt still in space. Just let a few of those arms and upper back. Inhale up. One more. Exhale. Inhale, full lift. And then bring it down. Straps go back to the original home where they uncross. And go back to where we place in space. So from here, let's sit on our carriage, face any direction that makes your heart happy. And then I'm going to have one hand in the middle of the box, the other arm reaches out. Keep the feet on the ground. You press yourself up and over. Keep the feet on the ground. Inhale as you come out of it. So a version of a mermaid here. Exhale as you press up and over. You're in between two planes of glass. Inhale as you come up. Exhale up and over. And come up. So I think we're done. Go to the other side. I know it feels good. We've worked on this core a lot and we're going to find that length, especially on the side. So the hands go to the box in the middle, upper arms out to offering. You reach up and over. Exhale, find that little mermaid. Inhale as you release. Try to keep the feet grounded to the ground. Exhale as you push up and over. Inhale, release. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, release. Okay, I'm going to come up and turn around and face you. Once I'm doing that, I'm going to have, uh, start off with both hands and knees on the box. Hands and knees on the box. So, from here, hands are right underneath your shoulders. Shoulders are right underneath those, over those hands. <laughs> Hips are right over those knees. Take one leg back, exhale, bend it in. Other leg. So, we have a motion detector on our low back. I want you to try not to find any movement or shift in the body in regards to that spine. Try to find that placement and that leg being able to support you by keeping that hip over that knee. Good. One more on each side. Good. Diastasis recti, hernias, pregnancy. These are lovely little exercises to get that tummy to pull together as one. One more. We're going to extend one leg back. Keep that leg back. Doesn't matter that leg. The opposite hand, let's just hover it out and bring it down. Find your movement. Just hover a little. Bring it down. Now reach it out over the head. Lower that long arm down. Exhale, reach it. Lower it down. So if you need to keep this knee down to make this happen, do so. Build yourself up, depending on where you're at today, for what client you possibly be working with, what body you're working with. Arm and leg lower, arm and leg lift. Find the range of motion you can for whatever you're working with, wherever you're at. Couple more, keep that back nice and long, that neck stays long in that same sequential line. Last one. Hand and knee go down. Other leg extends out. The opposite arm, it hovers off and it lowers. It hovers off, it lowers. Hovers off, it lowers. Now reach it up over the head and lower back to the box. Reach it up and over the head. So you keep moving for your body. Think that standing leg, that's the one with the knee on the box. Try to keep that hip right over that knee. Try to keep that long spine, that neck is aligned with that spine. Now from here, lower the arm and the leg, and then lift up, exhale. So find the calmness in your own body, and not a lot of pelvis movement at all, Hopefully done. And if anything, it's when this leg is all the way extended up. But you're trying to find that element of control. One more. Good. Now we got that core turned on. That was great. Let's bring our knees to the middle of the box. I'm going to flex my feet and hook my feet on the edge. And then I'm going to bring one foot onto the carriage. So both knees are forward. I'm going to have my hands on my hips. You straighten that leg that's on the carriage. Bend it in. So we got a funky knee pattern here. So no pinching, no pain for your leg. But be patient with this element. It's kind of like our skaters that we do. So let's go a little rehab. Especially if you had a dowel or a stick to hang on to here. Pull, 
Hold it. Externally rotate this leg now that lands on the carriage. We bend it in. We press it away. Bend it in. Now remember, the top of that pelvis structure is pointed directly at the bottom of that rib structure. Trying to find that evenness throughout the core from the front and back side of the body. We got one more pass in us. Now, we're gonna straighten this leg out all the way and keep it. Then reach your arms up to a T-arm. You're gonna reach up and over towards that long leg. Slide this arm down the leg and reach up and over the body. Be careful here, try not to move the carriage. Come back up to a T-arm. Our other half of our mermaid. Find it, go up and over. You see where I was going with it? Come up to an inhale, find that T-arm. And again, bring it down. And we come up. We're gonna go to the other side. Bring it in. So carefully, I'm gonna use my hands down on the box to swivel myself around personally, hooking my feet on the back edge so I know that I'm comfortable in this position. From here, we bring a foot onto the carriage. We lift up from our hands on our hips. We straighten out that leg on the carriage and then we bend it in, inhale. Try and think toes and knees forward, and then honoring that position for you, how are those knees to work? Think the hip, that right hip is stacked over that right knee. Squaring off those ribs and hips towards one another. Find those shoulders and hips squared off to whatever you're looking at in front of you. We got one more. We're going to come in all the way, and we're going to externally rotate, so turn the toe and down to the side. Once that's on the carriage, we straighten this leg. We bend it in. We straighten the leg. So, very yoga-esque with this leg turned out to the side. I think it's a good thing. You know, everything in moderation. It is very realistic that we have to turn a leg out to the side to get out of our vehicle. Turn it out to the side to turn the corner. So trying to rehab this with keeping the stability, but not always working in this position. Uh, we all do this one. Let's straighten the leg out. Keep the leg straight, arms in the spine, keep the position. So we keep the carriage still as we reach up and over towards the leg that's long from the carriage. And then we let that other hand slide down the leg. Inhale, find the T-arm. Exhale, you go up and over. So just the upper body goes up and over. And then inhale, find the T-arm. Leg and carriage is still. Again, inhale, up and over. Letting that other leg slide down that arm. And then come up. Last pass, go up and over. Exhale, fall into it. Inhale, come up. Good, let's come in. Let's sit on the box. How we started class, and we sit forward. Mm. Let's have our ankles right over those knees. Let's have our hands on the thighs. Let's sit up nice and tall. Let's find the line. I'm going to close my eyes personally. Let's find the line of our body, ears over shoulders, shoulders over ribs, our ribs are over our hips. Find that pelvis square off to that rib cage. Find that rib cage square off to that pelvis. We're sitting tall in our body, but yet a little soft. Feel a big breath in as if our core is a balloon. Fill that balloon up all edges, front to back, side to side, top to bottom, fills up with air. On the exhale, force everything out. Get it out, get it out. All that stale air that does not belong with you anymore, recycle it to the trees. Inhale, big breath in. Fill up your core of that balloon. Create space. Exhale, blow it out. Hands on the chest. That front chest, big breath in, fill that breath underneath those hands. Let it all go. Hands on the tummy. Fill that air up. Fill it underneath those hands. Big belly, Santa Claus belly. Let it go. Hands on the low back. Big breath in. Fill those hands up with air. Let it go. Hands at that lower rib cage. Reach up as high as you can with your arms. Big inhale in. Fill those hands 
breath. And let it go. Hands underneath those armpits. Hands underneath those armpits. Big breath in. And let it go. Let's cup our arms and we're going to do this pop and pat right here or clavicle. And then cup and pat, cup and pat. So as if we're patting the baby's back, not too tough. And I like that cup. Good. Just doing a little lymphatic drainage because we all need it these days. Now, same twist cross apples off of these arms. Shoulders so come down and we'll go with this. Tap your armpits. So tap these armpits however you feel like you can get in the position. Find that tap. squeeze the ribcage together. Exhale all the air out. Inhale, fill the air up. Squeeze the ribs. Try to squeeze them together. Inhale up. Fill those air, those lungs up. Exhale, squeeze the ribs together. Inhale, fill them up. One more, squeeze them together. Inhale up. Okay, so we'll the feet together. Cup and knot hands again. And I'm tapping the groins. Where my legs connect. Chin. Mm -hmm. 
Thumb on under the mouth. Getting it out of the way. Tap the hand right by these ears. Push our cheekbones up. Push those cheekbones up to the ears. Forehead up, forehead to the hairline, and I'm just going back on the hairline. Back on the hairline. Back on the head. Good, brushing the head. And I round my ears like I'm breaking through my hair back behind my ears and down my neck. Behind my ears and down my neck. Reminding that my importance to flow. It gets stagnant, and then since it's tense there, our body starts to formulate more connective tissue there, and that's where you get this mm, scar tissue, the scar brosis. So I'm here going back to the neck, tap that neck out. Just tap that neck. Thank you. See you next time.